You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. June, fuck off! Or I implant my blade in hey, your wait. ribs! Know this punk! For fire with our boys! You know, what when Gustavo took that hit? Well, just got real fucking interesting. What just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I, I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? Because you look like you got some heads on you. I see. Nothing for free. Not in this goddamn city. Not in this goddamn life. Here, all I got. The rest, bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in, we. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you, then? On the house. Won't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. A break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Pay solid. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. Damn sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Why you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gone question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Look at me like that. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh. Hmm. She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Sure she's cheating on you. Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Besides that, well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there's a way around every test now. Okay, fine. I'm in. You're my hero, V. Means a lot to me. Bar. 
Dunbar's betrayal of beguiling woman sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Peppy was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story, an unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. You about done, you focus. I arrived on the scene, looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day, the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up. I'm a fucking puke. Narrate that. Passes a bum, gives him a wide berth, doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Oh, seriously, wh what did I ever do to you?
The dame disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. Ugh, maybe it's... Well, well, well. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See who's Wait. right. No! It's it's not like that. I I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. A specialist in this dump. Look, I know. I I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. Uh, what about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh. I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father. Just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. Why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but... There was never a good time, and... And now that I'm expecting again, it... Oh, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't planned. Please, uh, tell him, tell him that... Yes? I don't know, I don't know what to tell him myself, that, that I'm really sorry, that life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just, just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. I was done. Followed your wife. Went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least, not in the way you think. Huh? What way, then? She was at a ripper who's getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So? My son. That's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Our own husband, ten fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever. It's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes. Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but... Woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. See? To drink. That's more like it. Finally making some sense.
Hey, V. You ready? So glad you came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. You nervous, Tom? How'd you know? 
First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does. Just a different program. You're great at that. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. Remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. You got no time to deliberate, weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up for even a second. Could cost you your life. Got it? And Maiko? Where's she? Meeting with Hiromi, to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. All right, we going in? Let's do this. right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. Gotta jack into the panel on the other side. Can you take him out? But then, everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at Clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. First, you gotta get into the penthouse. You're not coming with me? More likely not to be detected if you're alone. And besides, I'll be more useful here. If they activate any alarms, I can override. You gonna breach security? Get me in the penthouse? Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. Gotta manage on your own. Okay, on my way. Elevators on the other side. 
Be safe. How's the sitch? We're inside a clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful though, okay? On my mark. Go! any fucking dinner. Everything you cook tastes like sawdust. Any... Sawdust, anyway. Love you, too.
Oh, Jesus, fuck! Floor is clear! I killed him! I killed him all! Same here! Go to the surveillance camp in front of the security room. beginning to think right wrong this one's a real charmer too didn't want to trip any alarms had to come through quietly fast forward a year can we get this over with why are there three guys what's she playing at That's our target, Hiromi Sato. 
What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. A lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko. I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Maiko, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. I promised to help Judy. And here we are, thanks to her. But little Jude's cut from a different cloth than you and me. She's dreaming if she thinks she can have justice and peace in Night City without cuts, bruises, and blood. Meaning you want to replace Hiromi. Mm-hmm. Even if that means joining the Tiger Claws. How the fuck else do you expect me to protect Clouds from other gangs? Don't like this one bit. Too late for second thoughts. Tom and Roxy have done their part. Your little doll revolution is underway. Either we consolidate and win it all, or let everything go to waste. Do you think? Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sado's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. And now he's invaded Mr. Sado's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sado's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand Hold that... on, Michael. I think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. Chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. Oh, fuck you myself! Uh. Ah. My uh. Ah. Ah. Uh. Uh. Hey, what the hell were you thinking? You any idea what's gonna happen now? Matter of fact, I do. Either you walk away and never come back to Clouds, or I end you here and now. I see you got everything planned out, but you forgot just one thing. I've also got a doll chip. All right, V, get out of there. Exit's on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. <laughs> are outside and safe. They weren't followed.
Get down to street level. Waiting by the food stalls. You... You killed her? Oh my fucking god. You killed her. Even what I saw, I knew she'd be a bigger jackbooted tyrant than Hiromi. And that was reason enough to take her life? I'm sorry, Judy. I, I didn't plan for it to happen. I know. Give me a sec. I gotta gather my wits. I, uh... I gotta process all this in peace. Alone. Be seeing you, V. See you, Judy. And yet, you did not help. Good intentions do not justify murder. Please, be my in peace. Fine, be my guest.
Where's your cute little this ass crushing off, dude? Slow down. Treat yourself a little. Place. Tick, 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 tick. Nice ride. Brand new? Nope. Not in a chatty mood, I see. Not really. Sorry. So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Uh-huh. First, take a look. Hello, my name is Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS News. Today's story. A routine roadside inspection led the NCPD to the trail of a dangerous abductor and murderer. The incident occurred at the intersection of 7th and 15th Avenue. The following police footage was captured at the scene. 1038, I repeat at 1038. Registration 2AA6244. We're exiting our vehicle now. Copy that. 
Out of the car. Hands up. Easy, officer. Relax. Shut your mouth. Oh, shit. Uh, we have a 1053 and a 1054. I repeat, a 1053 and a 1054. The boy from the footage is Lavar Martinez, age 17. His parents reported his disappearance over a month ago. Unfortunately, Lavar's life could not be saved. His body could not withstand the severe septic shock he suffered. Autopsy reports reveal the teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car, belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, their fates remain unknown. Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, he has not regained consciousness, making interrogation impossible. Please stay tuned to WNS News for developments in the story. This, uh, Peter Pan. He in no case? You were looking for him? Never heard of him. Didn't cross my desk. What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy. Disappeared not long past. And what you just saw? The kid was wearing Randy's shoes. Ah, oh, Jesus. What will you offer? Randy's disappearance. You know anything else? My sister and I don't get along that well. Uh, I don't know much. Just wish I could have been there for her when she needed it most. And what, they figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case? More like a restraining order. Won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagal took the lead on it. Lazy ass gonk. And so far, he ain't accomplished shit. No way I'd let this lie. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your help. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but... We can view his dreams. I'm sorry, dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. It's an experimental procedure, but it's already yielding results. They record dr you Got access to these dreams? Not yet. But they keep them in the lab we're headed to now. Exactly. We'll go in together, but, uh, not through the main entrance. We're gonna break the law? We'll find a different way in, and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here, so I'll need your help. <laughs> 